Hi, welcome to Infinity and Beyond, a video series where we'll be covering actual rocket science, brought to you by Astronomy Magazine. Each episode, we'll take a brief dive into a different cosmic topic, covering it from the basics to the latest research. My name is Abigail Bollenbach, and today I'll be taking you through the vast universe one inch at a time. Consider the scale of the universe. The sun and moon have the appearance of being similar in the sky from our perspective, but realistically they are extremely different in both distance and size. This might bring a question to mind. Exactly how far away are the stars? What lies beyond them? And how large could the universe really be? Earth is about 8,000 miles wide, but if we shrink our planet down, to the size of a marble. The moon would be a tiny pebble. Jupiter would be approximately a little bigger than the size of a large grapefruit. And the sun, located two football fields away, would be the size of a five foot inflatable ball. Beyond our sun, the next nearest stars are incredibly far away. Now using our same scale, the nearest star to the sun would be a large beach ball located some 29,000 miles away. The distance to other stars are so great that we need a new analogy to begin to comprehend them. It begins with the light year, the distance that light travels in one year, about 6 trillion miles. In reality, traveling even at the speed of light, it would take more than four years to reach the nearest star. But because nothing that has mass can travel at the speed of light, if you were instead to hop on our fastest spaceship, you'd need to pack for 70,000 years. From there, you can only begin to imagine how much further away more distant stars in our galaxy and our universe really are. But we are just getting started. Our galaxy contains as many as 400 billion stars. So even on the super small scale that we have been using in which Earth is the size of a marble, the distance from one side of the Milky Way to the other would be about 700 million miles. And that's just our galaxy. At least 100 billion other galaxies exist and their light takes millions to billions of years to reach us. When we start talking about extragalactic distances, Shrinking Earth to the size of a marble just isn't enough. Let's instead imagine the entire solar system stretching roughly a light year from our sun in all directions is now reduced to the size of our marble. Proxima Centauri would be a little over an inch away, but stars on the other side of our galaxy would be marbles located nearly half a mile away. At this scale, stars in Andromeda, our nearest neighbor, are located a few towns over, some 25 miles away. It takes two and a half million years for light from the Andromeda galaxy to reach Earth, making it the most distant object you can see with your naked eye. But we can venture even further, effectively journeying back into time. How does one comprehend the size of the universe and grasp the concept that the most distant objects we can see are nearly 13 billion light years away. By picturing our solar system as a marble about a light year wide, a distant galaxy at the edge of the universe would be about 13 billion marbles away. 13 billion marbles would create a tower stretching from the surface of Earth nearly to the moon. But keep in mind, space is three-dimensional, so really, you need to imagine that tower of marbles with our solar system as the cat eye glint, expanding out in all directions. Our entire solar system is just one tiny marble in a pile of marbles some 25 times wider than Earth. Remember, each marble is an expansive solar system, not just a star or planet. Everything that consists in our cosmic residence only takes up a tiny amount of space within each marble. If you think about it, most of the marbles themselves are empty. 
When we reduce the size of the cosmos to a scale that is more understandable, you realize how much empty space there is. The sheer scale of the cosmos is awesome to comprehend. Although our view of the universe is limited, our imaginations are not. One thing is for sure, and that is we must continue marching onwards because the universe sure isn't gonna slow down for us to catch up. Remember, there is no limit when you're watching Infinity and Beyond.